Shelters were full, schools were closed, and more than two million people were left in the dark. On October 8th, Pacific Gas and Electric, a utility company, temporarily turned off all power services, deeming it as a public safety power shutoff. Having taken intensive blame in the past for starting destructive wildfires, Pacific Gas and Electric was determined to prevent another one by shutting off power to a large area of Northern California. Some of the investigations they did were conclusive that some of the wildfires could have been caused by power lines. There's certain criteria that needs to be met. If there's red flag warnings, which means if there's low humidity, predicted winds, power companies will actually alert power customers that a potential shutdown could happen. PG&E kept major hospitals and stores open, though turned off power to many residential homes. If you look at the big picture, the, the threat of a whole city burning down like Paradise, California is not worth the risk. After this power outage, many residents were left asking whether or not blackouts would slowly start becoming a routine as climate change makes wildfires more frequent and intense. This is only the beginning. A decision such as this one may spark again in the future. As for now, this has been Valerie. Back to you guys in the studio.